Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Code Farm. Today we are going to start a brand new series that is about Java backend developers interview guidance. So here I have prepared a set of questions. So I have more than a decade of experience in the industry. I have taken a lot of interviews and I have also appeared in a lot of interviews. So I wanted to share that experience and what kind of questions that can come in the interviews and what is the expectation from those questions there so uh, in this uh, like usually in companies when we are appearing for the interviews there are multiple rounds that can vary somewhere it is two round three rounds come somewhere five somewhere six there are a couple of rounds it depends company to company but the concepts remain same if you have mentioned that you have are a java backend developer there is a certain expectation from that rule right so in round one they will uh, touch base something in further rounds they will dig deep certain round certain concepts around that whatever that company needs so what those questions can be what is the expectation from each question so i wanted to explain that that is why i'm starting this series so uh, this is the mock one and round one of the three so i have designed it to be three rounds so first one we are going to share this one so if any point in time you have any question please put that in comment section want to connect directly with me this is the linkedin uh, linkedin profile link you can go ahead on this one so follow me send me the connect request we can discuss uh, whatever problem is there and whatever you want to discuss so moving ahead with the introduction so when we talk about interviews they come with a lot of surprises uh, whatever no matter how much i have prepared it how much i have practiced it uh, there is always element of surprise with the interview that yeah uh, this was the question i don't know but uh, Uh, where this is coming from and there is other thing like i knew the answer but i could not explain it the key here is in the practice so how much you can practice is the key and how that depends how this will decide how well you can do in the interviews another thing when we say that java backend developer it's not about java only it comes with other things like uh, one of the framework spring is the popular with the java database is there testing is there ds and elgo all time favorite it, it it comes with any kind of interview that you go uh basic understanding of cloud also and uh, some of the messaging framework like kafka so i have and ci cd concept also because nowadays software delivery you cannot think of without ci cd these things keeping in mind as a expectation from a java backend developer i have come up with the question so i'm going to walk you through those questions not answering those question actually but give you the guide how it should be answered so i will try to wrap this video as soon as possible but giving you the context how you can answer it so moving to the first one it says that explain the difference between equ double equal sign and this equals so this expectation is that you should be able to explain how objects are compared in java right first time i see this one the thing will go directly into the string that it is talking about the string equals uh, string comparison only but nowhere in the question it is mentioned as a string so it defaults talking about somewhere expectation object class it has method of hash code and it has equals method that can be overridden by any of the class that is there so try to think in this direction and answer that how equals and equals are then obviously take an example of the is string and so how equals are there to compare the references and how equals actually this method is there to compare the actual values in there and we can have custom implementation around that moving to the second one that is oop main principles of oop so we all know that all the principles abstraction inheritance polymorphism and encapsulation these are the principles so give one liner what these are give the example in java how it is there and also don't forget to give one real life example like take an example of car sports car and anything that you are familiar with right and try to relate this like fan abstraction encapsulation polymorphism and encapsulation coming into picture 
डिस्क्राइब हाउ जावा हैंडल्स मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट एंड गार्बेज कलेक्शन सो हियर मेंटल मैप ऑफ जावा मेमोरी मॉडल एंड हाउ गार्बेज कलेक्शन वर्क इज मस्ट ओनली देन यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दैट सो कंसेप्ट अबाउट हीप स्टैक एंड गार्बेज कलेक्शन कमिंग यंग जनरेशन ओल्ड जनरेशन एंड एंटायर एलगोरिदम मार्क एंड शेप हाउ इट वर्क लेटेस्ट डेवलपमेंट इन द गार्बेज कलेक्शन हाउ इट इज डूइंग एंड वाई इट इज कमिंग इन टू पिक्चर टू डू थिंग्स दीज शॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक दीज अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज नीडेड सो मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट जा हाउ जावा हैंडल्स मेमोरी एंड हाउ गार्बेज कलेक्शन कमिंग इन टू पिक्चर टू हैव द इफिशियंट यूसेज ऑफ द मेमोरी फोर्थ वन इज फैक्चुअल फाइनली फाइनल एंड फाइनलाइज दीज की वर्ड वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव अ प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट दीज थिंग्स एंड विच यूज केसेज दे आर देयर टू बी यूज फॉर डिस्क्राइब हाउ हैश मैप वर्क्स इंटरनली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द जावा एंड देर हैज बीन जस्ट टू गिव यू दैट्सअप देर हैज बीन चेंज इन द इंटरनल इंप्लीमेंटेशन जावा इट प्लस वर्जन मेक श्योर दैट यू नो अबाउट इट सो एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज दिस हैश मैप दिस इज द स्टोरेज फॉर द की वैल्यू देर आर टू मेन फंक्शनलिटीज टू पुट द की टू गेट द की की इज अ यूनिक वैल्यू इज डुप्लीकेट एंड हाउ दे आर मेनटेन इन द इंटरनली सो एक्सप्लेन इन दैट डायरेक्शन गो ग्रेजुअली एक्सप्लेन इट्स यूज केस एंड explain the apis that is available and how it is implemented internally array list and linked list very important both of them are there to hold the elements why uh, collections but they have different use cases when they are there like if you have the frequent insert frequent update then use the linked list if you have one time insert and frequent access you need constant time of random access use the array list so get the details what is the what is that one core difference between the array list and linked list explain that that will hit the interviewer and he will be particularly sure that you know how internally these things work like in array list you can explain that is a dynamic array is there dynamic array is there inside that array list linked list it is a doubly linked list that is there so that is fine coming to the sec uh, write a java method to check if a given string is a palindrome so first explain him logically how what is palindrome and how you can check the comparison uh, show him step by step kind of flow diagram and then move to the actual program that will uh, that is the proper step that you should go ahead how do you reverse a linked list so again first explain him logically how will you take an example of the linked list 1 2 3 and step by step tell him uh, how you will reverse the string reverse the linked list then move ahead with the programming logic that is there ninth what is the dependency injection how is it implemented in spring explain what is dependency how it is benefiting then move ahead how it is implemented in spring and how it is there explain the differences between these annotation component repository at the read service and at the read controller expectation here is that you know some of the popular spring boot annotations that are available out there and the use cases which place they are used so get that understanding and explain that properly that repository is for the database service is for the business layer controller is for web layer component it's something that is the base base annotation that is used in other uh, specific annotations that we have repository service controller how does this spring boot simplify application development compared to spring framework so if you have mentioned the spring boot the spring framework this is the must have answer that you must know that how spring boot is helping to build the application very quickly note down the features of the spring boot and explain that auto wiring embedded server starters that are there explain about that it default functionality is there opinionated mode is there of the spring boot explain that one what is the difference between sql and no sql very important in the databases very important question about the sql and no sql databases it's about uh, a couple of differences note down like schema less one has a schema what are the use cases for the sql what are the problem with the sql that uh, that uh, that 
give the option to have development of the new kind of databases like no sql databases what are the industry use cases what is an orm and how does gpa orm gpa hibernate work in a spring application so you must know what is orm must know what is hibernate what is gpa so orm object relational mapping gpa is a specification hibernate is the implementation of this one explain couple of annotation about the hibernate this will make sure that you know about hibernate sql query to find all employees where salary is greater than a certain amount very easy question around this one so just write a sql query that gives the proper result about this one and write the runnable query that can be run right because this is the easy question so the idea is to see the syntaxes and all that how you are writing the query what are the main principles of microservices architecture microservices is very important this is the very critical uh, and very first question if you have mentioned microservices so mention like single responsibility principle and database management distributed database management third thing is like flexibility no downtime service communication these things mention uh, note down the principles of the microservices architecture explain each of one in detail how do you handle versioning in restful web services first of all get the understanding what is versioning and why this is needed then it's come how you handle it so first like there are three four ways that can be handled so explain those one by one explain how you can secure a rest api in spring boot spring security is there so this is the one thing tell that i can integrate spring security there are different option i will start my application in http yes mode right i will apply rate limiting in my service these are the some different ways that i will secure my application and some of these things you might have in your current company that you are working in and it's it's best to explain those use cases that i have used this in this situation that gives a very good uh, positive uh, impression even if you have not used it you can have some story build around that one uh, and try to fit in there because interviewer does not know that which project you are working in and all that right if you have built a very good story he will be convinced that you have used it so it's it's good to have a very much realistic at least one project build around this concept explain what is apache kafka and what are its main use cases so explain the core features of the apache kafka and list down all the use cases that apache kafka helps in so how do you implement a simple producer model using kafka in a spring boot application so by taking this question don't think that he wants to you implement entire thing but he wants to understand the structure components modules that are there so basically if you can say that there is a producer apis or their consumer is there and there is a kafka template that helps in sending the message as well as consuming the messages that is how that is how it is used so follow up question computer uh, interviewer can ask so answer those so but considering the time limit that is there so try to answer point wise that is there what are the differences between unit testing integration testing and system testing note down some of the features around each of these one and explain these so if you can explain this with the diagram that will be very good so this is unit testing this is integration testing this is system testing very good last question that is 21st how would you set up a ci cd pipeline for a java spring boot application or uh, another question can be what is ci cd and how it helps in the software delivery so explain that one and whatever if you have it is good to answer if you have set up like if you have ci cd like github bitbucket or gitlab or aws anything is there if it is not there make sure that you know how would it set up so i will uh, uh, get the scripts that is there to set up ci cd pipeline and get the mental map of that one and so that you can explain the structure of the ci cd how would it is set up that is the expectation from this one so that ends 21 question in the first round uh, that uh, uh, 21 questions in first round is also too much i think but it gives you the idea like uh, because one question when you start 
discussing that one most of the time gets spent there but if interviewer is in the mood to test you in all the aspects he will jump around very quickly so it can be covered so i hope you found this one useful let me know in the comment section which question you found more difficult and more easy and let me know also if you want me to cover these questions specifically because each of the question needs separate video for preparation purpose answering this is in an interview is a different thing but getting a proper understanding is a different thing so i will be helping you because interviews are very critical whatever we are preparing we are learning we are learning for with the purpose and uh, many a times it is there like uh, we understand we know but we are not able to explain so my idea with this series that how i can help you to explain to the interviewer so that he also gets the complete understanding uh, what you want to explain it in here let me know in the comment section what you want i will be prepare i will be coming up with the second video that is round to what uh, set of questions and what is the difficulty label there and i will guide you how you can answer that one